This portion is brought to you by Puppy Sure, the all-natural goat milk replacer formulated for lactose intolerant pets. Good morning everyone, welcome to Happy Pets. Kasama ko po ngayon si Bo at siya po ang feature natin today sa ating Breed of the Month at isa po siyang Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamutes are said to have a blood of the wolf because of its physical appearance, which is like the Arctic wolf with great power. Although it strongly resembles a wolf, even howls like a wolf, these breed of dogs, experts believe, don't have anything to do with wolves at all, and they are purebred. In appearance, the Alaskan Malamute is also sometimes confused with the Alaskan Husky or the Siberian Husky. But whatever their appearance may be, these dogs are strong and heavy-duty workers. They are also affectionate, loyal, and playful. This dignified dog is recognizable by his well-furred plumed tail carried over the butt back with erect ears and substantial bone. Alaskan Malamutes show their best when the temperature is below zero. Like the Huskies, the Malamute is highly sensitive to heat. So in summer months, provide them with shade and plenty of water to keep them cool and avoid exercising them during the hottest hours of the day. This breed's outer layer of fur is rough and coarse, while the inside layer is woolen and oily, and they shed their coat twice in a year. Malamutes exist in various colors. Their facial marks are the most versatile feature, while the colors of their coat ranges from light dull gray, red, sable, to shades of black. Their nails should also be given emphasis. It should be trimmed twice or thrice a month for the sake of the dog's hygiene. The major health concern in Malamutes is joint disease, such as hip and elbow dysplasia, which cause lameness and pain and could require expensive surgery. The second worrisome problem is serious eye diseases, especially hereditary cataracts, which can occur in Malamute puppies and adults. Malamutes cannot be free-fed and you should not be fooled into giving it more food because it is very good at begging for food. Some Alaskan Malamutes even have developed techniques on how to beg for food. But of course, you cannot underfeed it either. It's important that you know the right amount of food to feed your Alaskan Malamute every day. The diet of an Alaskan Malamute can be a bit different depending on the dog. However, it's common to feed them in a scheduled manner. Allowing them to free feed may result in overeating, which can cause health problems such as obesity and bloating. The best tactic may be to examine your Alaskan Malamute's feeding habits and figure out where you need to increase or reduce food or feeding frequency. Puppies may be best put on adult dog foods around 8 to 10 months of age. Firm but loving training should be given in early puppyhood. That said, a well-behaved Mal is a joy to be with. Playful, gentle, friendly, and loving. With the owner's right training and consistent, strong leadership, the Malamute can learn to be a good follower. It's advisable to start obedience training with them at a young age so that you can learn how to manage your rather willful Malamute. Thank you very much for joining us in today's episode. Please join me and Banshee next week as we talk more about this majestic breed, the Alaskan Malamute. This portion was brought to you by Puppy Sure, the all-natural goat milk replacer formulated for lactose-intolerant pets.